Chokwakma. What a strange set of words. It means the power of what? What does that mean? It's a very, very important teaching because we often relate or usually relate to the material plane as if it's material. Koach Ma says, wait, this is a mystery to the world of what? A mystery to the material. And that mystery is that there's a spiritual element that changes how we live our lives. When we're constantly relating to the material as an expression of the divine, as infused with the divine, and as something that is our task to release the divine experience in that, our whole world becomes sanctified. Koach ma. So in a practical way of talking about it, let's look at food. Well, let's look at conscious eating. What does that really mean? Well, if we just simply take our food as something that's a calorie and it's protein and vitamins and fats, that's a certain way of thinking about it. It's a completely materialistic way. And that's what you get from the food. What if invoking the awareness of Koak Ma, we say, wow, this food is a love note from God. And then we go a step further. How do I extract that love note? How do I bring, how do I sanctify this eating process so that I'm really getting the love note? That is Koak Ma. So how do we do that? Get, let's get even more minutely practical. So first, we look at the food and we feel the energy. We don't just gobble it down, we feel the energy. We look at the colors, we feel the vibrations, we see the whole energetic field. And then, we visualize where this come from. Where's the source? And of course, at one level, the source is the garden, but at another level, the source is the sun and the moon and the stars. And at a deeper level, of course, the source is from the divine that is the nurturing energy. But somehow, and we look at that from Koak Ma, we're seeing the spiritual elements of this, and the food already has a different dimension. And now we do something unique here. We bite into it and we chew it. We don't blend it and get some mechanical teeth going. We chew it. What happens? We are able to feel the release of the energy coming into us. And as we chew, we actually can feel our body responding to it. We can feel our digestive juices be beginning to respond to it. And suddenly, we're involved in another holy process. We're sanctifying the body. We're sanctifying the food by honoring the release of consciousness that's coming into us. Koakma. And now, through the, that awareness, we feel the holiness of the whole experience. What just happened? We are in prayer. Koakma. What's the prayer? The real meaning of prayer is to become your prayer. So when we're eating with Koak Ma, we become the prayer of conscious eating. We become the experience of conscious eating. And that way, as we release the cosmic energy of the food into us, and we're feeling the energy of, of the divine in that food as it's played out through the channels of the sun and the moon, the stars, the earth, and the water, and so forth, we're having a totally different experience than this is a piece of material that we're eating 
they get our vitamins and, and minerals and calories. Totally different experience. That's Koakma. That is taking the mystery that's there and bring it into our cells. First, of course, you have to think Koakma. Oh, there's a mystery here in the material plane. And then we put it into practice. So may everybody be blessed with sanctifying your lives and sanctifying your in every moment and sanctifying your eating with the awareness of Koakma. Blessings to everybody.